Cruz Negro. Y hoy tenemos a Jason. Y tenemos aquí a el gordito lindo. Why does nigga always take so long? I know, right? Like, when I tap you, I give you the sign. Creeping en la maldita casa. Coño. So, el primer tema que vamos a topar es el hashtag me too. Um, el hashtag me too es un hashtag que ha llevado a las mujeres a expresar sus experiencias con um, el acoso eh, sexual, el, el verbal harassment. Um, y la pregunta a ustedes, um, ¿qué creen ustedes es lo que ha llevado a la gente a hacer situaciones como esa? Wait, ¿tú estás hablando de la gente o a los hombres? Porque estamos... Well, yeah, in this, situation, in this situation would be men, pero el acoso sexual tampoco... No, nada también, más, pero estoy hablando de la situación, de sí. lo que estamos hablando. Ahora mismo así los hombres, nada más. Real, real. Esto va a que el hombre en la historia siempre okay. se ha uh, portrayed, ¿cómo se dice? Como un perro. No, no, como un perro. <laughs> portrayed, like, se, se, la, se lo han enseñado al mundo como que es... El más. The dominant. El superior. El que domina. Ok. El que domina. Okay. ¿Tú me entiendes? Okay. Entonces, con ese flow, mm -hmm. los tigres creen que como yo soy el que domina, yo puedo hacer lo que me maldita gana y okay. tú ves. Deciste que mami chula, que tu culo, que la teta, que... ¿Tú me entiendes? All right. Yo creo que, yo creo que son esos flow. ¿Tú me entiendes? Ok. ¿Qué? ¿Por qué tú crees que ha sido de esa manera? Es just the way... Vamos a, mantener, vamos a mantenerme en español. Es la forma de la sociedad en, que, en cual la sociedad fue creciendo. ¿Tú me entiendes? Okay. No tiene nada que ver con que, oh, que eh, tú eres así, todo el mundo es así. Like, tú quizás no, no, tú no vas a ir a andar y decir, mierda, madre, qué maldita nalga, que yo qué. Pero en tu cabeza, mierda, tiene un culo de cama. En tu cabeza. Okay. ¿Tú me entiendes? All right. eh, la sociedad de nosotros ya no, no ha envuelto en ese en ese lío. No, no envuelto. No envuelto en ese lío. Okay. So to piggyback on what he was saying, it's pretty much um, based on, you know, to be honest with the way the way we're kind of raised too, because okay. um, people are older than us. Back, you know, they tell us the stories of how they used to do things. Okay. Oh, okay. Like, diablo, huh? For example, the diablo, yo me tira ese, yo no, yo no me hice esto y esto y esto, because they feel like they're superior. Like, yo, I can do this because this goes this way, y me voy a esa. Hmm. And okay. it's like the stories that we that we listen to, we feel as men that oh shit, you know maybe it does still work this way, maybe we can keep moving forward with the portrayal from that. It was back in the past. But not and things change. Not that. everybody, but it, you know, I la mayoría. Vamos a decir, do we want to go in percentage? It's more leaning more in favor of yes than no. So for example, it's more like a six seventy thirty, you can say, or more sixty five thirty five. No, because no, when it comes. When it comes to sexual harassment, do you mean like sexual harassment like on some oh the hurt my pet the hurt or like oh I mean, just, well there's there's or, levels or general, obviously but, but, but any just level, but any level any any level okay. because the thing is like you know what, what like I think there's a there's a almost a um a uh, like a what what you call it like a gray zone where people think like oh this is okay this like, is you know cool I mean? yeah yeah like, yeah. I, like I gotta get away with grabbing a girl's ass type thing like you know what I mean and I wanna like you know like as 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 men what do you think there's What do you think is the zone where okay this is not acceptable, or what do you think is the zone that quote unquote is acceptable, which I don't think there is. I mean, to, no, to be completely no. honest, mama, see, I have a, a type of relationship with that friend, and I'm like, yo, you, but that booty popping right now, you know what I'm saying? And she's cool with that. Okay. As like me and her. Okay. Now some other dude says that she's not cool with that because she doesn't know him, which makes it feel weird. Yeah. Because I know me and, yeah, because me and her are never gonna get to that point. Like I'm okay. just fucking around, and she. Okay. It's cool with it. Like the moment. No, question, so, my question is like, how do you know? No, that's what I, that's was, cool. I was. I was going there. Okay. If me and her established that, yo, uh, if I talk to you like, you feel weird or, or anything, she's like, no, no, it's cool. Yeah, you know so that, that's cool. So there's an agreement. Like, yeah, the, the, there's these words that I could just be like, yo, I'm, that she knows I'm fucking around, okay. whatever. But then there's other girls that you say it one time, they get offended, and you're like, oh shit. That wasn't your intention. My bad. Like, yeah, my bad. Like, if you say my bad, like, yo, I didn't mean to, like, offend you or nothing. My fault. I won't do that again. Boom. Pero como quiera, ya, ya te ofendía, ya. Y también hay, hay ocasiones where, you know, the girl would, like, hint on, like, oh, shit, you know, that's funny, you know. Oh, I'm okay with you saying this and this and this. I mean, you know, it's like, she's already telling you, like, okay, 
This it's is fine. Cool. I'm a, I'm alright with this some being girls said. That don't and also, like that at all. Like, no, and also, so, hold up, Jason. What do you what do you think is um, uh, something that's just kind of like over past the point of like always oh, cool? A lot of guys will do like cat catcalling stuff. Um, that's the hollering. Yeah. Right? Okay. So you'll holler at her, but I feel like overdoing it if you just sin tu conoces la baila que se escucha. Or anything like you just so take it do, into okay. Like, so now my question to you: Do you don't think hollering is sexual harassment? Depends what you're saying. Depends what you're saying. Yeah, you can, it's you can give, give, me, give me give me an example of what's a verbal harassment, verbal har, uh, har, a sexual harassment hollering, and what's not considered a sexual harassment. I, hollering. I haven't been hollering. Like simple, simple. Long. Like oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> That's hollering, but you're not saying like. Yeah, like, yeah, let me grab that ass, though. Like, like, Dad, can I hit that, yo? You know what I mean? That, it's, that's, it's, that's, it's different. Because yeah. <laughs> when you say you look beautiful today, it's a compliment. Okay. You know what so I mean? So also the choice of words. Yeah, or, yeah. Like, or like that dress looks good on you. Okay. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. No diablo, mami. You don't have a tail, mira. You know what I mean? It's just because it's the way, one, the way you say it, the expression, the words. Because if you express it like, mira, muchacho, yo te agarro, mira. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you nasty. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, relax. <laughs> but uh, the person goes, oh, I really like how you dressed today. Yeah, okay. Cool. So now my, 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 my second point is, um, what message would you have to uh, men who have, um, who do this in a consistent basis? Who uh, are consistently, my name, uh, consistently using this language, which he might not think it's offensive, but it's obviously, you know, Hurting and bothering. Uh, first of all, if you have a sister or a mom, just ask them. If when you hear this and this and this in the street, what you feel like? That's one. You might you might get good information from that. Like your okay. mom would have been like, "That shit's disgusting," and then you're like in your head you're like, "Shit, I'm saying to that shit to that couple girls." They might think I'm a fucking nasty motherfucker. But then you could just talk to the girl, be like, "Yo, my father said that. Like, did I make you feel some type of way? And what way was it? So I know I don't have to do it again. Like, learn from it. And then." If you're not learning, nigga, just shut the fuck up and don't say it. That's it. Baja un ching, hermano. No, baja la toa. Si tú estás bien, baja la toa. No, claro, pero okay, todo depende del nivel que tú sientes. Okay. If you feel like you really, you really up there, my nigga, you want, you want a 10 level, my nigga, bring that shit down two or three, bro, real quick. Porque en dado caso. But, 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 is, but is a three even acceptable? I mean, no, a no. three is when you have different verbiage. For example, the same people were making a Because, I mean, a three, a three could be like, yo, damn, shorty, you got a nice ass. Correct, that's what I'm but saying. But the thing is, like, is that's... That really, it's, it's sexual harassment, yes. Like, you know what I mean? But she... But is know, that acceptable? That's the no, question. Is that acceptable? No. So then what would you say bring it down to a three? But, my nigga, if you have a level 10, my nigga, you're talking about, oh, my mommy, let me move your hand and take it. I got to tell you the same. I got to tell you the same. That's what I tell you. But my thing is, like, I feel like that's the thing. Like, she was, you said, like, oh, let's bring it down to a three. I feel like men have this kind of, like, safe zone where they think, like, oh, I could push it to these points. And you know I mean? I'm trying, and I'm trying to make sure that that's clear. Like, Um, um, diablo, mam, te tiene un culo durísimo. Even that can really like bother some, because you don't know what um, like, what's up, what's self conscious or what she has been going through throughout her life. Like you know what I mean? You don't know right. if a compliment to her ass might bring back memories of somebody else who did something to her. Like you know what I'm trying to say? Like I feel like that's the that's the point where like I want to get to. Like you know, like how do we how do we push to like you know like there's just certain things that we just should not. Say. I just I just think it's. It, There's levels. No, no, no. It's nah, just, seriously, it, like, just think about it. You don't want nobody talking talk to, to your daughter, daughter like, that. like that. So just, just, just have it in your head. Oye, que yo no lo quiera. Oye, mata uno. Voy preso. Yeah, for real. Oye, it's like, it's like Instagram models, right? Que están en su panty, su brasiel y su baño. Los tigres, diablo, mami, usted está calde, un pa, pa, pa. Las mujeres esas se ponen, se futran, loco. Porque estos tigres lo que le están hablando, ¿tú me entiendes? Ellas lo que están ahí por su flow, para su marca y su vaina, ganarse un chelito. Y ese es el flow que ella tiene. Entonces los tigres vienen y le dicen toda esa vaina. Then they get frustrated. I mean, you are showing your ass and your titty. Which, which is not an excuse for guys to be saying all that nonsense. But it's a trigger for it. it I'm not saying... Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop it right no, there. No, do you, why do you think that's a trigger? Why? Because, because the, moment you show, the moment you show your body... I'm not saying it's right. I'm, when I say it's a trigger, it turns on the sexual aspect. Because okay. you're showing me your your naked body in, in essence with underwear, okay. but naked body in okay, essence, yes, right? I so it triggers <laughs> a lot of men, not every man. Like people see him, like yeah, that's something but that one. 
probably like it, keep it moving. You know what I mean? Okay. They don't say the. And dude, then you got the real the thirsty stupid, dudes. They don't that. say the stupid comment. They don't say nothing like that. Entonces, it triggers it because, let's say, tú te hiciste una operación. Hablamos de operaciones hace un rato. Sí, tú. Chega el otro video. Hiciste la operación, fú, de Dubán, y Dubán, y todos los tigres esta mierda, que güey, güey. Te tiene que 400 mil comen, que si yo cuántos likes, que si yo cuántas reproducciones. Pero en tu cabeza tú dices, mierda, esta gente me está viendo con un paso de carne, man. You know what I mean? Now, the reason. Is that, but my question is like, is that an invitation though? Like, can't women just feel proud about their physical image without without having someone trying to pursue them as a as a sexual piece? Can a woman just be like, you know what? I love the way my tits look. You know what I mean? I want to wear this big ass they, cleavage. They can. I want I want to wear this big ass cleavage. You know what I mean? Or I have a huge ass. I want to wear these tight pants. Like because I am because she's embracing herself as a, as a as a feminine person. Like you know what I mean. I mean, why why does that have to be a trigger? Why does it have to be a trigger for these men to approach them? It's not. It it's doesn't have to be. It's not. It's not that she's doing it for a tri- to to trigger them. It's not that. It's that the the sexual being of a human this triggers. Because if a girl if a girl sees a, a one of these actors with the six pack, tú le tira agua que que si yo qué que fui mi plan mierda que papi chulo. Okay, that's true. ¿Me entiendes? <laughs> Y no es porque ella quiere decir que se freca, es que es despite. Like, mierda, o sea, a veces no le escribo y dice a la amiga, diablo, tú lo ves loco, dices, ese tipo tiene que tener... ¿Me entiendes? Okay. And that's what I'm saying. Like, like, the same way we talk, they technically talk too, and it's just the, the way our body works. It's our hormones. At, when it comes to that point, porque si tú tienes ropa y tú, tú estás normal, y boom, 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 y tú comenzaste con tu vaina, flum, pero... Miente, bájale algo que la gente. Tú nunca sabes lo que le pasó a la gente en el. En la parte de atrás. Okay, and last, and last, just to kind of wrap up the last question. Um, what would you say or um, what would be a message for you to say to those girls who have taken the um, the uh, the brave step to kind of express themselves, you know, and you know, express these experiences that they had as you know, growing up and whatnot. I'll take this one. I mean. A uh, message that I have for you, you know, for the women and people that actually have stepped up and said something. Um, to be honest with you, are not in the wrong. I mean, what you are saying is a way of society now, and it does make sense. We do see this every day. I mean, keep your heads up high. Again, it, it won't change from one day to the other. Hopefully, change is coming to the point where, you know, you can feel better about yourself, no matter what how you portray yourself. And you know, moving forward, just keep your head high and just keep moving. I mean, I just, I that's just about think, it. I just think you guys just keep on talking about it. Keep on talking about it. Educate the young girls. Educate the young men. And then hopefully the revolution comes on and people just stop talking like that. Because now nowadays people are less machista as than before. Like, I would agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's kind of dumbing it down a little bit. Just little like, by keep little. doing you. I mean, you're always gonna have somebody talking. It's, it's never gonna stop. So just keep doing you. No le parece. I, I would definitely say that um first of all thank you for you know taking the opportunity to share yeah, um, share this um and whoever started this hashtag congratulations to you because I think you've done a yeah. great um thing for you know a bunch of ladies who might have felt that they were the only ones out there that this has happened to you know um and um and to the guys or to whoever's doing this just kind of you know like not nah, not even so just you know just think about respect it. like you yeah. know what I mean because I feel like no exactly like I feel like that and to be honest like. I, I know I know I'm at fault for staring. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah like, stare. like you know what I mean? Like I, well, I we all do though. Like, we all that's, know. that's what I'm saying. It's a fact. Like, but, human um, to itself that we stare. But I think it's also the level of kinda of like, you know, like the actions of what we take after that. You know, like, you know, just because a girl has like, you know, um wanting to show her feminine aspect and feeling um sexy, you know what I mean? Um there's it's not an invitation for us to come, no, and, you know, exactly. put our hands on them. And um, just think about yo, just think about your mom, bro. Like you know what I mean? Like I feel like that's oh, the, oh, the, my, oh, <laughs> I feel, I feel no, like that's the part that stayed the most. Like, you know what I mean? Just leave it there. Just leave it there because yeah. they have two sisters, man. Yo, and guys, got, me and Jason yeah, got three. So. Guys, subscribe, <laughs> comment, like, and say yeah, because <laughs> I problem. I problem. Nah. Nah, <laughs> I problem.